You're watching Nocturnal. I'm Alex. I'm Imogen. We got some awesome <laughs> stuff for you today on the show. Uh, coming up, we've got the slimy things, sci-fi pop. They've got a pretty interesting sound. We're also going to hear from the Grey Day Tourers. Watch out for that day, Tourer kids. Uh, it'll be an ambient sort of sound, but really interesting stuff. What else we got? We've got uh, some Shapeshifter, live drum and bass from New Zealand. Caught up with them at the basement. And uh, to kick things off, we've got a four-play Sydney's Electric String Quartet. They did a massive gig at the venue formerly known as the Metro a few weeks ago for their album launch, and uh, I caught up with them there. Nocturnal! Hi, you're watching Nocturnal, and my name's Imogen, and we are here backstage at the Metro Theatre on the eve, on the afternoon of Four Plays brand new album launch. The new album is Now to the Future. I've got Lara, Peter and Shenton. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. This is their third album from the studio and their fourth album release. Guys, tell me a bit about um, where it all started with you. The four of us were at uni together and we were in bands to We were in orchestras together. We were in the Australian Youth Orchestra and we really wanted to play rock music. That was what we just listened to so much. So we just went, well, um, well, we'll just enter this band competition. We also, we picked up these, these pickups um, when we were on tour recently before that and had... Um, borrowed some guitar amps and it just sounded so awesome playing through guitar amps so we're like hmm let's let's try this as a string quartet And who were your influences, like bands like Kronos and those kind of bands? They maybe inspired us to go, we can do that, but we've never quite done it the way they do it. Nobody else quite approaches it the way we do. The Brodsky Quartet do their own arrangements a lot of the time, and that's really awesome. Kronos usually even get someone else to arrange it, and what foreplay is not about more than anything else is playing notes off the page. We don't do Definitely. That. And Shenton, when did you join the crew? Oh, about two and a half years ago. Yeah, I had to read some notes off the page in, in order spirit, to get up to yes. speed. And and similarly, years ago, I'd experimented with, you know, plugging my violin into a distortion pedal and, you know, <laughs> going into the music shops and just, you know, freaking people out. Writing the songs is, I think, something you really wanted to do for this album and do some singing? Yeah, well, singing, I love singing, and yes, I write my songs on the guitar and sing sad love songs, and so I brought them to the band. But also, when Shenzo joined the band, we started writing a lot more together. And that was very fun. So we've got a lot more originals on this album than the other albums. You know, I, I sort of look at like a, a good Indian feast, you know, there's lots of different spices and curries that I'm, I'm bringing to the table musically. Because um, I, I guess I've been, we've all been playing music since we're young, but uh, the things that I've been really into lately is sort of kind of world music styles, sort of jazz, Eastern European stuff and some flamenco. The covers, how do you choose your covers? You guys have covered Metallica, the Beastie Boys, this time around Miles Davis, the Strokes. The Metallica was actually almost in a way the why we formed the band. I remember 
a couple of years before even forming foreplay really wanting to play that riff that that it's just it's just great and it just worked really well and so riffs and rock energy is something that really draws us to a song and so obviously sabotage well it's hip-hop and people go man you're playing a rap song on strings but really the, the thing about sabotage is the, is the riffs i mean that's the kind of thing that inspires a cover it's just got to have something and often it's a riff Well, good luck um, with the album launch tonight and thank you for your music over the years and looking forward to more. That was Foreplay. You're watching Nocturnal. And coming up after the break, we've got Shapeshifter with some live drum and bass. Nocturnal! Welcome back to Nocturnal. Right now we've got some Shapeshifter. They are one of New Zealand's premier live acts, drum and bass, to dance your socks off to. Sophie caught up with them at the basement. Check it out. Hey there, you're with Sophie on Nocturnal. Hi. We're talking to P. Diggs from Shapeshifter. How you doing? Very good. Good, yeah, you're hot and sweetie, but good. You just played a shit hot set in the basement in Sydney. How do you reckon it went? Wicked, eh? It was awesome. It was, it was good to get such a wicked reception. And um, if you weren't there, sorry, oh, you missed out. No, it was really good. Last time we came, actually, we love playing Sydney. It rules. You guys are from NZ. Why is drum and bass your thing? Why not? But no, uh, well, a lot of it's just music's our thing, really. Drum and bass just happens to be one of the outlets. How is a live drum and bass gig different from your everyday DJ spinning the latest stuff? Hell, a uh, difference in sound and uh, impacts. It's live. It's like, yeah, it's a little different. You get, you get, you know, you, you got like the power of your crew, there's five of you all together. It's pretty huge, it's quite, it's quite, a, quite a freaky buzz. I think people who watch Nocturnal love going out in Sydney, they love drum and bass. Um, what would you say to them? Without a doubt, support your local crews. Um, get behind all these break and entry and all, the, all your local cats that put the stuff on because they put a lot of thought and a lot of love into it. And you know, it's, it's what it's about, local stuff, getting your, your backyard nice and tidy, you know, your flowers watered at home first. So, yeah. Tune into the revolution, underneath the influence, Shapeshifter movement! I came to see Shapeshifters and they were fucking awesome. It was pumping, I'd never seen them before, it was wicked, honestly. You're watching Nocturnal. My name is Tom. Oh, there's some good venues. Like uh, Hopeton, it's rocking. 77 was, okay. But venues, that Broadway's pretty good. Except for the gaslight, not really, but the gaslight's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, Club 77, the Spectrum. Well, I love the Vanguard. The Vanguard's beautiful. In there. Spectrum, Lansdowne Rocks because like have free shows, which is cool. More free shows in Sydney is what we need. I have gone to um, Club 77 a few times, but that's only really good when there's good bands on. Warehouse shows are really cool, like Yvonne Roof and um, places in Surrey Hills are really cool to go to. 
parties. I see, I do see bands sometimes, but often parties or the pub or something like that. A bit of a homebody these days and sort of nesting and not really getting out too much. I'm gonna go wherever, wherever it works for that night, where everyone else is going. There could be more venues. I don't think it's put out there enough. Uh, no, I only go out when I have to work. See, my gig is that I just work all the time. We're saving up to go overseas, so we don't actually go out that much. Welcome back to Nocturnal, I'm Imogen. And I'm Alex. So what's up next? Uh, we're gonna check out the slimy things. These guys are a band that sound pretty much like uh, if Captain Kirk joined Devo. <laughs> so I think you'll like what they have to offer. It's pretty out there, pretty spacey sort of pop music. And uh, I believe they come from the planet Thaldor. So they if do. there are any Thaldorians watching, you're gonna love this. We caught up with them live at the Empire Hotel in Annandale. We're with slimy things. First question, guys, what drugs are you on? Where can I get them? <laughs> I am life. <laughs> I went up the Cabaret Manor a little bit earlier this afternoon. Yeah, I recommend going to the train station, just hanging around. They'll sort you out, not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what makes you want to do very highly structured progressive rock about aliens and robots? Uh, we've been forced. I think that's the, uh, the simple answer to that one. Our lives depend on it. I know with this day and that one can be just on the stage when I think it's too stimulating. A magazine's a video just what can they get in for? But what does the you when you call? We actually arrived here from another planet and um, you know, basically just to study the, 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 the sexual behaviour of human females and we thought the best way to sort of the best way to sort of entice those females to come in and have sex with us was to start a band. Chicks dig yeah. rock. They, they, they dig it, yeah. Earth chicks. Yeah, I started playing sax. Sex, isn't it? Pink phallus. Exactly. Bright shiny horn. Get it hard, get it hard, get it hard, get it hard. I mean, I, a lot of, not many bands do the kind of music you do, not talking about the lyrics and stuff, but just kind of structurally. Has that been hard for you guys to get your head around being such a, such a big group, six of you? And also, how does that music get written? Do you get like MIDI files that you have to transcribe and learn, or how does it happen? They're actually, all the data that we uh, uh, channel is uh, direct from Thaldor. Special, really there's a mothership much. upstairs and, and we've got little microchips in our head and they just sort of beam down stuff that we, you know, that we program to play. It's like being plugged in when we do a, an earth gig. We, they, it's, they plug us in, can't see it, it's mostly remote, mostly. But um, it's direct from... This is on me, this is on me, what is...
my who's got my I knew there was something strange about her. I guess I should have known it. I should have known it all along. I knew there was something, there was something strange about her. From planet Nebula, I knew her there. Just like this one. Not from the world I'm on. She came, came from. She's the planet Nebula. <laughs> What we had, we had our uh, our big EP launch. It was the big first annual Sydney Space Prom, and this is a bit, really big deal. It was a huge night. We had audience was out of control. They just they ate it up. They loved it. The entertainment was just otherworldly, as you, know, you would imagine. She's a parallel girl, a Hey, welcome back to Nocturnal, and uh, we're about to go and check out the Grey Day Tourers. Yeah, they played at Newtown, they supported Wolf Eyes from the US. They have a very interesting ambient sound. It's pretty dark, it's pretty uh, end of the world, but you'll like it. Nocturnal! Hi, I'm Bonnie from the Great Age Heroes and I'm Peggy Todd. I'm Rob uh, from the Great Age Heroes. We basically formed on a stage. Um, uh, it was kind of the idea of the other Rob McManus, that is, in, uh, of the Greater Tours. Uh, wanted to basically do some improv to a film. Um, had a show booked and basically no one to play with. And he just kind of randomly called up Bonnie and I. Um, just to, to do some noisy improv to a film and at the end of the show it was you know we thought it was pretty good and um, I guess we kept going because someone invited us to do a radio spot There's some pretty loose themes that we stick to, um, just via the instruments that we use and the equipment that we use. I guess there is a consistent sound there, 
um, and we've been playing together for almost five years so um, there's some habitual things going on there but nothing's ever written we all enjoy it playing together yeah. um, and it's all improvised so I guess we don't have to rely on rehearsals to I suppose maintain I suppose quality levels or anything or like the progression of the band is sort of evolves on the stage um, I guess that's the fun of it get it directly from us via mail order um, uh, you just go to our website um, greaterchurus or one word dot com or www.greaterchurus.com um, and we stock it in most of the, the um, I suppose smaller but better record stores <laughs> yeah. you know in Australia um, so I guess um, Sydney, Sydney-wise, um, Painted Black Records, um, Red Eye, Utopia. Uh, there's also like a split with Wolf Eyes that we've just released, um, which is available in all stores. Uh, they should be able to order it in. That was the Grey Day Tourers, and uh, thanks for checking out Nocturnal this week. If you've got an idea for a segment, if you want to see what's coming up, or if you want to get involved with the show, you can check out the website. And uh, don't forget to tune in next week, we've got some great stuff for you. Sydney City Trash. Basically we're trying to make country music uh, not as fucked as it has been over the last few years. And the drones. See ya! See ya! <laughs> <laughs>